Hi, my name is Sarah Swan and I create videos to help people with their mental health and today's video is about job loss and dealing with the dealing with your emotions that come up due to it and the panic. So if you've been following my videos, um, I'm new at this YouTube thing, <laughs> and, uh, um, but a month ago I lost all of my jobs and it, it created a lot of panic. <laughs> I um, Panic is... Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but people stocking up, <laughs> that's panic. Uh, that's people trying to control what they can't control. <laughs> and I was definitely trying to control what I can control. And it, it's hard. It's hard dealing with that panic. It's also hard dealing with those emotions that come up. And I thought maybe I could give you guys some tips. So um, tip number one, um, as I'm just going to say, um, it's a time of uncertainty. And just know and recognize that anytime you're in uncertainty, it is it causes panic, right? Because you're like, okay, I'm no longer in my comfort zone. It's gone, right? And you're like outside of it and you're like, well, what do I do? You know, because your, your body is geared towards staying towards the, the known, even if the unknown is kind of maybe not working for you, right? But it's geared towards staying the known. And when it's gone, it's like your body's like, I want to get back. It's like kind of like the GPS, right? You are supposed to go to destination B. But if you take a wrong turn, what does the GPS do? It makes you go back. To point A and so like you're all of a sudden like you're taking a wrong turn because of this coronavirus and you don't have a job and so of course you're in the unknown and it's making you panic because you want to get back to point A but you can't because well point A no longer exists and so of course you're like panicking and you're you're kind of like okay what do I do kind of thing right so um, for me it's about accepting that unknown and it really it really does help with the panic um, once you start accepting it because if you kind of resist it, which I also can be really good at resisting <laughs> It's kind of like the pink elephant kind of thing where you say, okay Well, don't look at the pink elephant don't open that door and all of a sudden you're like and you keep on saying don't look at the pink elephant and guess what happens? You want to look at the pink elephant and so um, I'm finding like, you know, if you can somehow um, if you could let go of that resistance, it really does help. And I do have more tips, I'm gonna go into that in the video. Um, and then tip number two is just to allow those emotions to come up. So, and it goes back into this non-resistance. Um, your brain is often geared towards not wanting to, you know, feel pain. And so you kind of want to avoid it. Um, I know for me, sometimes distraction but then you try to distract yourself and then all of a sudden, an hour later, all of a sudden you're kind of trying to sit with yourself and then all of a sudden it just comes back up and it's like, what do you do with it? So one thing that I've learned is you want to lean into those feelings. You, you want to feel those feelings. Um, you kind of want to be mindful at the same time. Like, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling this? Um, a very good acronym to, to follow if you are having trouble with this, of feeling your own emotions, is RAIN. So RAIN stands for recognition, allowing, investigate, and not identify. So recognize how you're feeling. This is how I feel. Um, how do you feel in your body? And then go with that. And then you allow. Okay, this is how I'm feeling. I may not necessarily like how I'm feeling, but you kind of allow it because your emotions have to kind of pass through you. Um, and like I said, if you're resistant, well, it just gets worse. It really does. Um, and then you want to investigate. This is where you want to ask why. Well, why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Well, the other day I was feeling frustrated. I was feeling frustrated because I'm like, I just can't get a job. You know, it's like I've tried. Um, and then once I realized that, I was like, okay, well, what can I and can't I control and that kind of like helped me kind of pass through it and I was able to kind of like be like okay well I can reevaluate this you know and that's where you go with non identify so remember if you're feeling an emotion so um, your emotion is not you it's just it's just how you're feeling in the moment and know that it's going to pass um, and that helps you kind of um, be able to kind of allow yourself to feel it better rather than kind of being scared of it um, and um, when you give that intention intention is a very powerful thing it, it allows them to pass better be like I intend to let this pass you know so if you're feeling that emotion um, tip number 
three is know what you're feeling is okay. A lot of times we tend to be like, you know, because you have those memes like, oh, you have to be positive all the time. Um, like, oh, you, you shouldn't be feeling that way. You know, allow yourself to feel how you're feeling. Um, if you're feeling sad, feel sad. Feeling frustrated, feel frustrated. Um, obviously, you don't want to hurt other people or hurt yourself, but feel how you're feeling, um, even if it's negative. Um, for me, yesterday, I felt horrible. Like, I started feeling really frustrated. And I started having all these, your body remembers all of the, the old memories from what you had in the past. And so, all of a sudden, everything that I had in the past, because your brain wants to kind of protect you, it goes into this, like, survival mode. And all of a sudden, I had all these thoughts come in that were not true. I was giving meaning to what was happening in my life, which, you know, lack of job, to be like, I'm not good enough you know, and, and that kind of stuff. And, and when you give that meaning, it just, so for me, I've just basically, I wrote them down and I allowed myself to be like, okay, this is how I'm feeling. This is the meaning I'm giving it. And then I asked myself, is this true? You know, because that meaning of I'm not good enough. Well, is that true? No, it's not true. So ask yourself, um, so you look into it. This is how, again, going back into the rain, this is how you kind of like go into it and figure out what, what meaning you're giving it and so on. Um, and it kind of allows you to kind of be grounded, but also look at the positive at the same time kind of thing. Um, Cause you're like, okay, I'm feeling how I'm feeling. And then once you like allow it to pass, it allows you to kind of like go into another feeling. So um, I don't know if that helps, but. Um. And then another thing, again, this kind of goes into the last thing. Uh, so um, I think we're in tip number four, I might be wrong. Um, self-reflect so and for me it's like self-reflection um, meditation um, I will meditate on things I will take a walk taking a walk really helps you self-reflect also helps you get out of your your area let's say you're applying for jobs like yesterday I was applying for jobs and I was just so frustrated I was like I can't even do this at the moment and so I took a walk and as soon as I took a walk it helped me kind of calm down and kind of self-reflect and it helped me um, sometimes I'll listen to a YouTube video about some kind of subject and that will also change my mindset and once I change my mindset it helps me come up with better solutions um, you can talk to friends you can journal um, I find that that really really helps um, you can also use your art so I'm an artist so you can paint something um, sometimes um, you can do like this idea of putting how you're feeling into your hands kind of thing you have two hands and you cross the line and you just kind of do it without thinking about what you're doing. You try to feel into what you're doing. Like, you know how a little two-year-old will color and they're just scribbling. They're not like being like, I'm making a circle. I'm making an elephant. They're just scribbling. So, and when you start doing that, it helps you kind of tap into that. So art expression allows you to kind of feel those emotions um, and kind of go into that. So, um, and tip number five. So another thing that I do is this idea of faith. So, um, it kind of allows for the calm to come in rather than the panic because it's like you exert that you don't have control over certain things and you kind of allow it to go to your higher self or God or whatever presence if you believe in that. And, um, once I do that, it kind of helps me come up with solutions because it calms me down. And so it allows you and it allows you to accept what it is you know and to accept that you're in the unknown and and it's and it's scary scary right you accept that panic right um and then you can come up with better things um and then tip number six so another thing that you can do is if you are panicking um or you're having trouble with your emotions sometimes you can go into an activity um, the activity will kind of make you feel better because it allows you to go into a different mindset. Um, so if you have a lot of energy around it, like panic energy, I find that keeping active really does help. So if you like to run, go running. If you like rollerblading, go running or go rollerblading. Um, uh, you can you can do gardening. I see a lot of people fixing up their yards, <laughs> you know, and taking care of their their lawn, their their lawn. Um, you can organize your house. You can do things like, let's say you wanted to paint your house and you never had the time to do. Well, do that. And it kind of helps your mind instead of being focused on what you don't want, which is that panic. 
I don't have a job. I'm not saying to avoid it completely, you know, obviously you want to still come up with solutions, but it allows you to kind of relax from it just for a second. Um, so you can, you can eat healthy, you can exercise, you can maybe learn a new thing. For me, I focus on my mental health. I focus on, um, self-help. So I actually did a self-development kind of class that I joined. Um, I was able to get it for really super free. Um, not free, but like a lot less. And for me, it's helping me kind of like go through all this because it's teaching me skills and um, like, and it's helping me like that self growth. Um, so doing stuff like that. Um, and finally, um, tip number seven, just know that, um, well, I don't know if this is really a tip, but just know that everything's okay, will be okay. Um, and give yourself self-compassion, you know? And, and once you give yourself self-compassion, I think it really does. For me, it helps. Or seeing that other people are going to do the same thing I am, it helps calm down that panic. Um, and it helps calm down those emotions that come up. Because all of a sudden I'm like, okay, this is happening, you know? And when you give yourself that self-compassion, I don't know, it just calms you down. Um, at least for me. Because I realize, okay, this is shitty. Because it's all I need to accept what you can't, you know, what's happening in your life. And, and it, it, I don't know. But, yeah, just know that what you're going through, how you're feeling, it's normal. Um, and accept that you'll have bad days. And you'll, you'll have good days. Um, and once you are able to do that, um, and know that this is, this is not going to last forever, you know. It'll, you'll come out of it. We'll all come out of this. And, um. Yeah, I hope this helped, and if it did, um, um, click like and subscribe. <laughs>